Hi, Ellen Osten, National Director of Education for Salky of America. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to show you the easiest way and get the best professional results on hooping and embroidering on towels. We're getting ready to prep our towel. So to begin with, I'm going to hoop the Sticky Plus. That's our adhesive tearaway. So I've cut it a little bit bigger than the 4x4 four four hoop, the size I need for my embroidery. And I'm going to hoop that with the protective paper on the top and then tighten this so that it does not jump apart when we're embroidering. We've got the Sticky Plus hooped and now I need to remove the protective covering and so I'm going to lightly score that with just a little straight pin and then lift that to get the paper started and you want to be careful not to tear the sticky underneath and then just I'm tearing towards the hoop and again just to get it started I'll use my pin and we get this all removed and now it ex exposes the stickiness and that way we don't have to hoop, hoop a towel or a blanket which can be very cumbersome to do. Now to do away with the problem of pulled loops on the towel I'm going to take the stabilizer called Totally Stable and remember slick sticks. So the slick shiny side is going to go against the towel on the wrong side and I'm going to then press that in position with a hot iron and again lift and press, lift and press, make sure it's ironed completely down and the really cool neat thing about this is that now when I position this on the sticky, the towel loops will not be on the sticky. The totally stable will be on the sticky. And it's so it will protect and keep the towel looking brand new. Okay, so here's my sticky hooped and ready to go. So now I've got the totally stable pressed onto the wrong side of the towel and that is going to stick onto the sticky. And this is my shortcut for placing. I fold the towel in half lengthwise. I know that the, grit, the line up here on the border of the towel is going to be my straight line across. And so I'm going to line them up with the little dash marks on my hoop center finger press that down onto the sticky and then fold that over and I can feel with my fingers and get that all finger pressed down so my design is going to be centered right there and I want those towel loops to be trapped and not come through my embroidery so I'm going to use my Solvy water soluble stabilizer and I want that to stay in position so I'm going to spray it with the KK2000 and I'm going to spray the Solvy not the towel because this has a nap anything with a nap we do we want to spray the stabilizer and not the nap stick that in position and I'm ready to go embroider Okay. As you can see, Salky Salvi does a great job in keeping the towel loops trapped so that the thread lays on the top. You can see right here where through this whole monogram, it has a fantastic underlay. So it has been very well digitized. That is going to help hold the towel loops down with multiple washing and uses. It's going to continue to be a beautiful monogram and that underlay is going to prevent all of those towel loops from peeking through. So the Solvi is doing its job by holding everything nice and clean and then with continued use the underlay is going to make that monogram stay very nice. And there we have it. Our embroidery is completed and the first thing that I like to do is to remove it from the sticky and so I gently tear away towards my stitches and then 
I'm ready to remove the totally stable and if you pull the totally stable away with the nap towards the nap look how nicely that comes off and it does not pull the towel loops out of position look at that and no towel loops are being distorted and no worry with the sticky that's all sticking to the totally stable so look how nice that is coming off and again, any little pieces, I don't stress about that because with washing, drying, handling, it'll eventually just work its way out. Now I'm ready to remove the Solvi, but I want to remind you that if there is still a little bit of the KK2000 adhesive still there, I want to get rid of that before I remove the Solvi so I can lightly press over that. Believe it or not, it won't do hurt anything. And guess what? That dissipates the KK2000. If you remove the Solvi with water and the KK is still there, then it can get a, a little gummy. It'll eventually go away, but it's a hassle. So that's done. So now I'm going to pull away the excess Solvi towards my stitching. And you can see that the majority of it is coming right off with just gently pulling it away. So we won't have to worry about getting rid of hardly any with that. And my favorite way is just to spritz it with some plain water. And then put a paper towel over it. And press it with a hot iron. And that just absorbs it into the towel. And there you go. Voila! And so we have a wonderful monogram towel and guess what it's an e so it's a gift to me from me